Okay, so I have no idea what's going on with that video, but that just broke. <laughs> so uh, let's have an AV check instead. No, I didn't, I didn't press anything. The video's frozen. The video is completely frozen. So there you go. I did do something, Yoshi. How are we doing? Good morning, good afternoon. Crikey, that's loud. So we won't have an intro today. We'll just go straight to the main theme. Is everything else fine? I don't know why that just froze. That's so bizarre. Did OBS update itself recently? Hmm. It's frozen like the game. <laughs> yeah. I see what you did there. Yeah, that's weird. That is... It's never done that before. I'm going to have to have a look at that. Not to worry. You've never seen this before, Cinemic. That's because the game's not out yet. It's a pre-release game. Comes out on the 24th. No OBS update since two weeks, Baz. That is so weird. Why would that suddenly freeze? The only other thing is I've been running updates on my NAS drive and the video comes off the NAS drive. Let me flick back to it a second. No, nope, it's still completely broken. Dunno, I'll have to fix it later. <laughs> What's the game? This game is called Frostpunk. And uh, I had a quick play just to sort of do the beginning bit. So we'll start again. I think I have to turn the audio down a little bit. One second. Because that's very, very loud. There we go. Yes, I know they did, Sander. I've been playing 131. It's all right. It's got some. It's got some nice job market filters, and the the cables are okay. But one second. Do you know what that rem music reminds me of? What was that game? What would this war of mine? Do you remember that game? I did, Connor. Thank you very much for your delivery an hour ago. He said, hello, Paul. I hope you're well on this sunny Saturday. Looking forward to today's stream. Hope you're probably eat, stream eating, so we'll get on with it. You was right. I was actually eating. <laughs> Let's click over there. This war of mine had that kind of grim music about it, about you're all doomed. And it kind of has the same feel. Parking brake is, is not always on if you leave the shop, garage, or respawn. I did say this, Carl. I did say this last week when people said, oh, the parking brake is always there. And I said, no, I don't think it is. It's only when you do specific things, like you change your truck. The same studio made this. Oh, did they, Astrea Gamer? 11-bit made that game. That explains it then. They, they seem to have this way of making games where um, you feel like you're all doomed. <laughs> That's really interesting. I didn't realise. Is it like the vanishing of Ethan Carter? Absolutely not. No. Nothing like that. The older Sherlock soundtrack. Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. They're like the gloomy games, exactly. I'm just having my coffee to get me going here. You're watching on a 4K curved monitor. Well, unfortunately, it's only in 1080, but... <laughs> you want this game kept in whiskey? I've, I've played it for about 30 minutes. That's all I've done, just to, just to get the basics out of the way. It does seem quite interesting, though. It's a kind of survival survival management kind of game. Keep the people happy, work them to the bone. Stop, you know, disease from spreading. Gather resources from various places. Deal with the ridiculous temperatures. You keen to see how you play this? Love to see different players, different decisions. Yeah, so here's the thing, right? <clears throat> here's the thing. I watched Burke playing it for a bit. 
and Happy anniversary. I realized like when a couple of things happened like I think one thing that he did was he found there was like a story event where he found a group of I think it was 30 children that had been kind of abandoned left behind and and as a leader he then had to make a decision do we bring these 30 kids in if you bring 30 children in you've got 30 mouths to feed and they can't work because children can't work I don't believe unless you pass a law maybe so he then had to say either bring 30 people 30 kids in or leave them behind or maybe bring some of them and then it kind of got me thinking that we need to decide what kind of a leader we're going to be because that then guides you towards what decisions you're going to make like are you going to be a compassionate leader where even if you found 30 kids there's no way you're leaving them behind you're definitely going to bring them in even if even if you know you've got to make some cutbacks or you know you're a hard leader like you know we we can't work you we, we have no use for you you're 30 useless mouths you know we don't no and then just commit them all to die you need to work out what kind of leader you want to be but it was super tyranny towards the end be el squarelo <laughs> i can be el squarelo if you want me to be el squarelo but here's the thing right when i'm making brutal decisions that's that's just the way it is hey mrs frosty sf joins 29 months thanks for the entertainment and your funny streams and vids thank you dude 27 months from Redcoat, thank you very much. The hard and fearsome El Squarello, the dictator. We can we can do that if you want. Uh, let's see. So, Sack scenario. A new story. Oh, what this is here, coming soon. Customized scenario. That's interesting. It's all about the city, you've got to make the city survive. To preserve civilization from the chaos of its own downfall, we have fled to the end of the world. We will have to adapt to survive. Who will end in this process? Difficulty, medium. Basic difficulty with some challenges and some room for error. Wow, look at that. You could make like extreme weather. I think we'll just go down the line on medium then. I imagine easy will be a bit too easy and hard's going to be impossible because I've never played the game before, so let's just maybe just go right down the middle. Be a fair leader. El Scorello's not a fair leader. Thing is, if you read this, it says that, you know, you are... It's almost like the Battlestar Galactica scenario, isn't it? You know, you're the last... Your society's or humanity's last hope. If you don't survive, that's it. Got to be some pretty hard decisions there, I would have thought. I did play this War of Wine. I found it a little bit too depressing, <laughs> if I'm honest. <laughs> I'm hoping this game doesn't in go down the same road. can soften the blow of each death by signing the ceremonial burials law. Hope will still fall, but only half as much. Happy anniversary. <clears throat> so if we're going to play this as El Squirrel, we'll have to pick laws that are dictator laws. Yeah? That's the way we're going to have to play it. Definitely play as a harsh dictator, that way you can keep the ones you've taken alive. <laughs> oh, this is going to be brutal. I'm fine, thank you, Debbie. Hope you're well. Very fat pigeon with five months. Always good to be support my favourite streamer. Black Wave with 30. Molasses Cookieman 37. Really enjoying the diamond nut. Keep up the amazing streams. Thank you very much. Happy anniversary. We have fled from London. Wow. London? And crossed the sea to reach the frozen north. So they've gone north of Scotland. Okay. On our way, the convoy was hit by a blizzard and scattered. A handful of us managed to reach the site of this generator, only to find it frozen solid and abandoned. Why is no one here? Did any of our people survive the blizzard? Are there any others out there? Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world, as we know it, has crumbled. Hmm. Hey, Nikolai. We have to survive. Wow, this is like Game of Thrones territory, north of the wall, isn't it?
Fight the cold. We need the generator working to provide heat and power to, to uh, other buildings. Without it, we'll freeze to death. Stop pile some coal and start the generator. Okay, fight the cold. Oh, one second. I've also got... I've done a specific overlay. Let me pause this a second. So you may notice the overlay at the top is, like, massively cluttered right now. So I've done a specific overlay just for this game that allows you to see the top bar. Unfortunately, it means my name disappears. But it does allow you to see what the heck is going on up there. So there you go. Specific overlay just for this game. Never done that before. So let's see. At the top, you've got coal. Then you've got the wood, steel, and steam cores. We've got one steam core. I presume that's it. I'm, I'm actually not sure. Maybe they're inside. Is this a generator? Okay, so we have many steam cores by the look of it. We have raw food and food rations. Okay, so from my from my very small playthrough, what I understand is going on is around about here we have some resources scattered uh, that we can use initially, like steel is here, uh, some wood crates to get some wood, and then there should be some coal kicking around. There, there's a coal pile. So we need coal to power this thing. If we can't keep the heat going, we're all going to freeze. The temperature is at the top, minus 20. If I click that, it gives us a temperature overview. So from here you can see that uh, it's color-coded. From comfortable in red, livable in yellow, chilly, which is that. Uh, so some people will start to get ill if it's chilly. Cold, there's a, basically a higher risk of getting more and more ill. So that's how it works. The squirrel banner causes screen burn on phone display. Screen burn? I thought that was a thing from the 90s. <laughs> Who's the person streaming? I can't see the name anymore. <laughs> well, I don't think I will, typical Steve. I don't think I will, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, so we've got the day up here. The, the temperature will drop significantly at this point. Two levels. Blimey, so look at that. So in four days' time, we're going to have a massive temperature drop according to this. Uh, the work time. We'll come to shifts in a minute. So let's, uh, what we need to do is get some people. Oh, they get screen burn white then, do they? Blimey. Happy anniversary. I didn't realise that. That's interesting. Wow. That's very interesting. Hmm. Well, I don't mind logo to be burned into people's screens. <laughs> Tom, thank you for four months. Ben, with 27. G'day from uh, Down Under, 27 months. War is a time gone. Thank you very much for your support. How much are we going to zoom in? This much. Right, let's uh, unpause it and get going here. So, uh, let's see. There's a coal deposit bar. So, we're going to assign a bunch of workers. 15 workers to go and sort that out. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've got some wooden crates over here. So, we'll have 15 workers sorting that out. Uh, and then we had some steel, I think, here. 15 workers sorting that out. So, what I like is the fact that they start cutting a path. Look at that. That is so cool. They cut a path through the snow. Um, I don't know if there's very much else we can do. Down here, if we hover... <clears throat> it says we have five workers unemployed, and the 15 unemployed are engineers. And then I think the prohibited must be children. Or old people, I'm not sure. Probably. I don't know how the birth death system works. Mr. Whiteland. 56 months, Whiteland. 56. Thank you very much, sir. I'm going to have to get your new sub badge ready. <laughs> Firefighter. So, for starting my first two training shifts to be a volunteer out, uh, out of an international airport, Houston, Texas, last Wednesday, Thursday. Let's just say my feet are moaning at me due to walking eight miles. Uh, yeah, I can imagine being on your feet all day will definitely not be good. So, we need to get this thing online as quickly as possible. Uh, but we're going to have to get them to get cold first. So, let's see. Tutorial. So, camera controls, blah, blah, blah. Then it explains the resources. Um, most buildings require you to assign people to work. There certain buildings only employ engineers and others only employ workers. To assign people to work, click on the workplace and use the assignment panel. 
So I don't think we've got particularly... That's the stockpile. It's a generator. We don't actually have. I think what we need to do is start building tents because people need somewhere to live. Uh, this is a full game cycle. It's a pre-release copy. I know why, and it should be 57, bro. I think Avenger was in here yesterday and clicked on a 57. You, you, you should definitely contest that one with Twitch, you know. You should argue with them until they give in. <laughs> uh, so, we build radially around the generator. So what we're going to do is put some tents here. And the engineers will start building that based on our stockpile of wood, which we now just used up. Happy anniversary, Nata. Oh, it's a press release. The release is missing intros. Fair enough. All right, so there's a couple of bits missing, but apart from that... Like, it's not a limited game, I don't think. Mr. Simcopter, how you doing, sir? Have you been playing it? Sim, have you been playing Frostpunk? Definitely feels like your kind of game. Can we get a shout out for Mr. Simcopter? Fabulous bearded streamer. Member of the Nuthouse stream team. Definitely deserves a shout out. Go and give him a follow. You don't have it, Sim? Oh, we, need, we, need, we need to figure, figure that out for you, don't we, somehow? We need to figure that one out. Let me see what string I can pull. Wacko Taco, thank you for 15 months. Stockpile some coal. We need to get to 200. Activate the generator. So, can we turn this thing on yet? Yeah, I think we probably can. Uh, turn it on. How do we turn it on? Generator is off. Click to turn on. There we go. Ooh, look at the heat radiating out. Whoa. Temperature. I like the way it introduces topics to you. Wigs! 11 months. Good afternoon, Paul. Good afternoon, Wigs. Uh, you can speed up time by clicking on the time things at the top. Um, it will always flick to normal speed at 5 a.m. You can pause the game with the space bar. Okay. Construction. Uh, you can order the construction or destruction of buildings and streets. Streets, eh? Hmm. Hmm. I didn't build any streets down the side of my tents. That was perhaps a mistake. Buildings inside the heat zone are warmer and provide better living and work conditions. To make the best Welcome use of, heat, of the heat zone, buildings are placed on a radial grid. All buildings must be connected to the generator by a street in order to function. Okay. Temperature. Uh, Squirrel, as soon as my birthday in two weeks, Facebook decided to allow me to do a fundraiser for a charity of my choice. I choose WWF. You're aiming to raise 10 grand by July. What, the World Wrestling Federation? <laughs> That's cool, Lord Reaper. Um, my birthday's in a week too, lol. <coughs> temperature is comfortable, livable, chilly. So there's just basically six levels of temperature. Um, I should have built a street and I didn't. I don't know how we do that. One second. Tent. Health. Medical post. We might need that soon. Uh, food. Resources. It's a gathering post, too. Here they gather resources from nearby coal piles. Oh, we've already got one of them. Tech. Workshop. A lab equipped with everything an engineer needs to develop designs to, for various buildings, technologies, and improvements. I think that's our tech tree unlock. Your birthday was yesterday. Wow. Uh, this is basically banished with better graphics and more buildings. I don't know if it is. I haven't played banished that much, to be honest. Hang on, how do we just dismantle? No, we don't want that. Dismantle a street. Dismantle a building. Build a street. Okay. Oh, I see. So if we... Ah, right. So if you do this... Then you can then... Okay, so if you do that, then we could, for example, build a workshop here, and it would be connected to the generator thing, is how I understand that. However, I think everybody just stopped working because it's the end of the day. 
<laughs> I know Grumpalump. I know. They had a big argument with the World Wrestling Federation many years ago. The World Wildlife Fund had a big argument with them and the World Wrestling Federation lost. No, Ian, this is my 19th, dude. So, the way I understand it is there's a working day. Um, people on the normal shifts are free to set their needs. Interesting how they're still building a street, even though it's past the work hours. Now, let's see. The Book of Laws and the Economy. <clears throat> coal. Welcome We're gaining 180 coal per time. day, and the generator's consuming 144, so we've got a slight surplus going on, but it's not great. Uh, Diner, thank you. Welcome back. Ranko, welcome back. This year, I'm not found. Happy Saturday, Dr. Squirrel. <laughs> Thanks for 39 months. You don't catch enough streamers anymore to know their sarcasm now. That's fair enough. Right. Coal piles. Uh, so it looks like we've got five in the vicinity. Uh, and we're working one with 15 people. Daily gain 180. Okay. Uh, food processing. Right, now the way I understand this, there's basically raw food, and then there's food rations. So the raw food is like what you get from hunting and gathering, and the food rations are what's made by a cookhouse in, from the raw food. Welcome I suspect back. if they eat the raw food, maybe it will make the meal, I don't know. But we haven't got a cookhouse yet anyway. Then we've got medical facilities, six citizens, and that kind of thing. Housing conditions, we have five tents currently. But that's not going to be enough. Welcome to the we've got 30 citizens and a homeless at the moment, so we need more tents. It looks like we can unlock bunk houses later. But we probably need to get a workshop up and running. Uh, Mega Jason Dog. It's a strange name, but welcome to the nut house. Thank you for your support, Mega. Can we give Mega Jason Dog a nutty welcome, guys? Steel and wood management. Um, so we're currently harvesting a wooden crate and a steel wreckage. I don't know what we need the steel for just yet. Maybe we shouldn't be harvesting steel because I don't know if we're using it. So we might have to change our... Um, yeah, here we go. Look, we've got 100 raw food. No food rations. So we need to build a cookhouse. Did you ever play Settlers? Yes, I did. Yeah, I've, I've played quite a few of these kind of games. So, <clears throat> I'm torn between building a workshop to start unlocking the tech tree and building a cookhouse to start making food rations. I suspect food is more important. So what we should probably do is order a cookhouse, but we're going to need one of these, I think. Turns raw food into nutritious meals. One unit of raw food is used to prepare two standard food rations. Okay. Definitely worth having one of them. And a hunter's hut. Uh, hunters are here based every... Uh, hunters based here hunt every night, venturing beyond the city to track their prey in the frozen wasteland. They provide up to 15 raw food per day. Well, we've got... We've got 80 citizens, which means we need 40 raw food per day cooked into 80. Which means we need three of those. What the heck? How the heck are we going to make that work? <laughs> Steel for trains, no weather factorio. Lol. We need iron ore. You missed the start of the stream, Zero. You've not missed much, bro. You've not missed much. Steel is needed for buildings and research. Ah, okay. So we better carry on with that. How do we get more people, anyway? I take it these are all the homeless wandering around going, We've got nowhere to slay. We're just sleeping on the floor. Family alone in this world. Oh. Wait, I'm El Squirello. I don't care. <laughs> Ruthless dictator. You've only got 20 what? No, we've got 80 people. 30 are homeless. It was in the economy, wasn't it? It was under the food tab. And what was it under... It was under one of these things. Citizens. There you go. 50 inhabitants are in the tents. 30 are homeless. Yeah? 50 are asleep in tents and 30 are on the street. We've got 80. 
We've not only got 20. 20 people are unemployed. That's what that is down there. Yeah, 15 engineers have got nothing to do. And five workers have got nothing to do. But we'll, we'll sort that out in the morning. I think we need a hunter's hut pretty quickly. Let's put that out there. Like that. But that'll only get constructed in the morning, I believe. I didn't play Banish very much, no. <laughs> you should make a special emote for this stream, Blue Frozen Nuts. That would have been cool, actually. Okay, it's going to explain some stuff here. So the generator <clears throat> is the source of heat in this frozen hole. Uh, the generator heats a circular zone around it, consuming at least six units of coal per hour. You can research generator upgrades that raise the heat output, expand the heat zone, and reduce coal usage. That would be a good thing. <clears throat> Cold homes or workplaces cause people to be sick. Without proper care, you can become gravely ill and might die. The sick can be treated in a medical post, but the gravely ill need to be in an infirmary to be treated. Until you build one, you can save their lives by signing one of the two laws. The Radical Treatment Law... <laughs> allows you to treat the gravely ill in medical posts, but some of them will be left as amputees. The sustain life law allows you to keep the gravely ill alive, but untreated in medical posts or care houses indefinitely. What? <laughs> oh my god. Now you see, what I want to know is can amputees carry on working? Because if they can, then El Squirello would definitely go for the radical treatment rather than just keeping people alive. <laughs> Sniffer, 28 months. Have you tried Oxygen Not Included? Keep your eye on this. Keep, keep up the great streams. Yes, dude. I played Oxygen Not Included a few months ago, but I know that they, they've changed it quite a lot. Like, they're developing that game quite rapidly. I'd like to go and try it again. Option B is El Squello. It's not, though, is it? Because they can't work. If these guys can work... If amputees can't work, then it's not an option. If they can work... Amputees can't work at first. You can research tech later so they can. Right, so it's definitely sustained life. We'll keep them alive until we can put them back to work. Happy anniversary. Unless there's a way of turning them into food. Let's have a look at this thing. The Book of Laws. Find ways to battle hunger, sickness, and empathy. Whoa. Hans, thank you for four months. Dino, Dino RST, almost didn't resub since you're on the wrong side of the screen. <laughs> this was the only place that I could find that actually worked in this game. Okay, so let's have a look. Emergency shift. Uh, sometimes we have to concentrate on the task at hand at the cost of everything else or die. New ability, you can force workers in any facility to work for the next 24 hours. Using the emergency shift will raise discontent. Discontent will raise slightly. Wow. What does that lead on to? Extended shift. I like the sound of that as well. Nath27, welcome to the house. Thank you for your support. Happy can we give Nath a nutty welcome, guys? Nata. Right. Child labor. <gasps> What's this? Child labor safe jobs. There aren't enough hands to do all the work. Will allow children to be employed in safe play workplaces like cookhouses. Yeah, this is El Cuello. After introducing this law, another one can be passed after 18 hours. Children can work in the safe workplaces. Hope will fall slightly. Child workers can be injured in accidents. Well, that just comes with the territory. You can't just you can't just go around like playing marbles. We're living in a frozen frozen wasteland. Make some food. Child shelters. Children will be safer if they stay in child shelters during the day and they won't cause any mischief. No, 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 no. If they're working, they won't cause any mischief. Right? Mark Oxley, eight months. Thanks, Paul, for the great streams. Also for the great content. Best streamer on Twitch. Thank you, Mark. Uh, Mr. Shadetree, thank you for 22 months. No, 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 Sugar Glider, I'm not evil. I'm playing El Squirello. El Squirello is a character who's a brutal dictator. That's the way it is. This is not me. This is my persona. I did ask what kind of leader we want to be, and everybody said, you've got to be El Squirello, so that's what we're doing. Child labor, all jobs that leads to. That sounds amazing. Right, hang on. Cemetery. 
<clears throat> no, 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 no. They're not going to die on us. We're going to keep them alive. We don't need a cemetery. We don't need corpse disposal for the same reason. Radical treatment. We'll try everything to cure the gravely ill from invasive surgery to amputations. Look at that picture. That is grim. Sustain life. We can't cure the gravely ill, but we can at least keep them alive. The gravely ill will be kept alive, untreated in the medical post. Hope will rise slightly. Oh my god. Food additives. I'm beginning to like this. The squirrel was a Victorian mill owner in a previous life. Lol. <clears throat> we can add sawdust to the meals to make them more filling, although not exactly tasty or healthy. Well, that sounds like a Tesco sausage. So I think that is okay. After introducing this law, blah, 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 new recipe, sawdust meal, available in the cookhouse. Hope will fall slightly, discontent will rise. Some people eating sawdust will fall ill. <laughs> sawdust? <laughs> it's just like... <laughs> That's game. Isa Clark, welcome back. Soup. We can cook soup instead of full meals to feed more people with the same amount of raw food. Hmm... Hmm. Well, hang on a minute. If we have a cookhouse, we can turn one raw food into two rations. So, how does that relate to soup? Welcome back. Welcome back, Sea Gettings. Fighting arena. <gasps> There's only one real fight club. Nothing relieves tension better than watching a few rounds of an all-out slugfest. Oh my god. Evening bouts will reduce discontent. You will have to build a fighting arena. That sounds brill. When your discontent's getting too high, build a fighting arena and they can go and slug it out with each other. Perfect. Soup gives you more rations. So that's probably better than a cookhouse then, isn't it? Do we go for that or child labour? I don't want the children doing nothing. What comes after soup? Nothing. Emergency shift, child labour or soup. They're my three favourite. Nothing a big old punch to the face can't fix. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's go with the uh, child labour. Listen everyone, new law is signed. Listen everyone, a new law is signed. Love it. Right, child labour. Uh, let's see. We need to start thinking about more shelters, but I need some wood first. Uh, there's not a lot we can do right now. Maybe just fast forward time. It said it would unpause at 5am or something. Kids should be learning, not working. But our children aren't used to working. They'll get hurt. <laughs> Don't care. Dark Trooper, house. welcome back. Sorry, welcome to the Nuthouse Dark Trooper. That wasn't a resub, that was a new sub. Thank you for your support. Welcome to the Nuthouse. Can we give him a nutty welcome? Day night cycle. Hang on a sec. Uh, the city wakes up at 6 a.m. People have some free time. What? Free time? Until the work shift starts at 8. Unless there's construction work to do. Oh, that's good. So if I if I queue up construction through the night. They'll then do it in the first two hours. That's good. After they finish their shift at 1800, they're free to help with construction again, which can keep them up to well past midnight. You can extend the 10-hour work shift if you sign certain laws. Let's do it. Oh, See, yeah, yeah, yeah. no problem. Grassy, thank you for the 200 bits. You're all qualified now. Nice. Well done, sir. Congrats. Work shifts. Uh, 1800 to 8. 80, what? That's a bit weird. After signing the extended shift and emergency shift laws, you can extend the working people's time. So, <clears throat> it seems to me that law that allows you to um, work 24 hours, that could, be, that could be useful in a pickle. You know, if you suddenly have like a resource drop and, you, and there's a, a big storm coming and you need everybody to get on with it. That could be a useful thing to unlock, actually. 
So they basically work from 8 till 6 and then they have free time. That's, that's too much free time in my opinion, but there you go. Hunter's Hut is going up. We need to get some hunters to go out tonight. We need the raw food. To the nut house. Captain Whiskey 1200. Captain Whiskey Jack 1200. Thank you for your support, sir. Welcome to the house, Captain Whiskey. Appreciate that. And thanks for the nutty welcome. Right. Workers. I don't think we've got 15 workers we can put on here. Uh, we've only got five. Let's take some off the steel wreckage and put them in here. So we've got 10 on the steel and 10 on the hunting. I don't know how much that's going to produce per day. We need to see. We definitely need we definitely need food though. I'm sure El Squirrel will never press that 24 hour button. <laughs> Guzzy, thanks for 18 months. Yeah, I'm waiting to get some more wood, Sim, Sim Games fan, which is what they're... Um, once they gather this wood here, we'll build some more tents. I, I don't have enough wood to build a tent. Oh, I do now, actually. See, it's on like a... It's on a system where if you don't have it stockpiled, you can't, can't queue it, you can't build it. I wish I could zoom in on those graphics. It looks so nice. Now, it occurs to me that once you run out of these things here, you're going to be in big trouble. Oh, there's some weird stuff going on up there. How do the hunters get out of this crater? Is, is this the way in and out? Guess it must be. Now yeah, we've got 15 wood now. Child labor with emergency. Oh, yeah. See, now I want to build a cookhouse. And then we put the children in that. <clears throat> and that will turn the, the raw food into rations. And then we, you know, because that's like a ratio of two to one, isn't it? We can make the food go twice as far, one of these things. Uh, can we put it on that side of the road, maybe? There we go. Let's put it there. We're out of wood! Food and hunger. Hunters. Hunters leave the city to hunt in the frostland for food. They work from 6pm till 6am. Initially, they bring in up to 15 units of raw food. It says up to, so I'm guessing we're only going to get 5 units. It sounds to me like each worker brings in 1 unit of food. Research upgrades to significantly increase the hunt yield. Right, we're going to have to build a workshop. We need to get the tech tree going. Yes, it is, Neo. My first attempt at this game. Mapex, I like your new new uh, sub badge. <laughs> Fifteen raw food per day. Uh, okay, number of starving people. Hunter's hut. Fifteen raw food per day. Hot house. Thirty raw food per day, and a cookhouse. Two food rations. We need to get this researched, don't we? The cookhouse prepares meals for people. It produces two food rations from one raw food. Raw food is produced by hunters and hot houses and is sometimes found by scouts during exploration. When there are no food rations to be had, people will start eating raw food. Now that's something you don't want. Uh, we need this. What do we need for that? 15 wood and 5 steel. We have plenty of steel. I think we should take people off the, off the steel, actually. Take five people off steel and put them into food gathering. How many reindeer, penguins, polar bears are there just outside this crater for the hunters to be so successful? <clears throat> I think it's a game mechanic. I just, I simply don't know what is outside of this crater right now. Yeah, well, Mapex, we'll see how deep it goes. I mean, I've not seen the tech tree yet. I don't think we can access the tech tree until we've built that workshop. So I'm still waiting for 15 wood. I've got a 13. Come on, bring the stuff in. Right, cookhouse, children. 
five? We've only got five children? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can't believe we've only got five kids. We ain't got enough people to go around here. Hmm. Does it have cannibalism? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the answer to that question. Let's get the street going, and then we can build our workshop in a minute with 15 wood. Is that taken into account the street I put down or not? Because that doesn't seem lined up, does it? Hmm. Let's hold off a minute. I think we can only sign five children to one cookhouse. Uh, let's have a look. You might be right. Oh, wait a minute. That's five of five. Ten available. Oh no, I've got ten more kids and we're doing nothing. <gasps> Happy Steel wreckage depleted. Natter. Oh god, that's gone. That was quick. What's that one? Wood crates. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll go and get some. We've got plenty of steel at the moment. Let's get them working on a coal stockpile. What's this? No roof over our heads. Housing problem. Sir, Captain, people are understandably concerned about the lack of shelter. They're falling ill from sleeping outside in this terrible cold. What are you talking about? They're sleeping next to a generator. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I'll provide some shelter. I'll provide shelter for everyone. I won't address this right now. Oh, we're going to do that anyway. Let's just click that one. There's no point creating discontent. We'll build some more tents. I really need a workshop. Tent or a workshop? Workshop. It's more important. I can't build tents now? <laughs> I don't get how they can be freezing when they're sleeping next to this massive fireball. 20 homeless and one is sick. Uh oh. That's not good. We're going to need one of those medical things. We need more wood, actually. Wooden crates. How many people have we got on wooden crates? We know, we know. When facing demands, remember this. People usually look for the quickest solution, not the best one. You don't have to agree to everything they ask for. If you fix the problem your way, it's fine. Well, that's what El Squirrel's going to do anyway. I can't give them 24 hour shifts because I didn't sign a law. Ah, I can sign a law in a minute. One second. Right. We can introduce a new law. Um, let's see. We've got child labor. Emergency shifts. Welcome back. Look at that discontent. Um, one sec. Does it tell me in here how to do this? Nope. How do we get workforce will extract wood? Happy anniversary. Working hours. Nata. How do I make it a 24 hour thing? Oh, we've got the tech tree. We have the tech tree. The announcement guy sounds quite British. Well, it did say at the start of the game that we just left London. So, yes, I would say it is. Veles, welcome back. The real Slim Shady, welcome back. Dyslexic Hacker with three months. No one's here to watch live streams, always catch up. Won't be able to watch Sunday Night Trucking as my baseball season starts in the UK. Been playing for 16 years, started age 6. Looking forward to standing in the sweltering sun for most of <laughs> Oh my god. Enjoy, sir. Happy Yachts 4 from Stick. Thank you for 18 months. And Guzzy as well. Do you have an Avatar character in game 2? I think you're the Nameless Overlord. I've not seen any Avatar character that you could create. Um, so, 
I don't know how to use this 24 hour emergency thing. Maybe you can only use it. The hunters usually take 12 hours. They've been away for six. The hunters will return with up to 15 raw food. How do we assign the 24 hour thingy? Oh, yeah, 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 the little yeah, yeah. clock icon with the yellow arrow, that's your emergency shift. Ah, discontent will rise. People work for 24 hours. How much wood is here? 17. Is that the amount of wood left? Coal pile 153. Steel record 60. This is almost gone. Let's say, let's, let's put 10 people on that and then put them on an emergency. Whoa, look at that discontent. Oh my God. Get out there and bring the wood in. You've got no time to sleep. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to need a fight club in a minute. Connor, you could say this game is very tense. Just leave. <laughs> Research. Use the workshop to develop new buildings and improvements. Right, here we go. Detect tree. The research is grouped into tiers. You have to research a tier upgrade before you can start researching technology in that tier. Researching each topic costs resources and takes time. Heating, okay. Uh, workforce. Some buildings, such as medical posts or the workshop, require intense manual labor. Mental labor from some people employed there. And as such can only be staffed by engineers. Workers only provide manual labor. Okay. Yeah, I know I do, Sim Games fan. Children can't be employed at all initially. Yes, they can. You can check your workforce distribution by clicking on the icon in the bottom right corner. It's a worker, that's an engineer, so some can do both. Okay. Open discontent. Are levels crucial for the society's stability of the city? There are many factors that can affect them. People's needs, buildings... Uh, laws, abilities. Hope and discontent also change due to random events and the death of your people. Okay. We're going to have to build a fight club, I think. Look at him in the middle of the night. Wait, what's the temperature, though? Uh, it's not too bad. Okay, tech tree. Where's the tech tree? of laws, economy. Wait, where's the tech tree? I can't find out how we access it. What did it say? Research. Oh, did we just click on the... Add new research. Oh, here we go. <clears throat> 